Hey everyone, thank you for joining us for another episode. Uh, in today's video I'm gonna show you how to install rear view camera interface on Mercedes-Benz GLK. And for those who are new to our channel, my name is Eugene. I represent a company called Cars Gadget here in the United States, California. We are online store specialized in rear view cameras, front cameras, um, mirror links and other cool devices. So yeah, check it out. Our website calls www.carsgadget.com or you can browse Amazon and find our store carsgadget.com on Amazon as well. And many of you guys ask us if we do installation. No, we don't. We are online store only. You can Google or you can search through Yelp. Any kind of uh, audio and alarm system installation uh, shops in your area, all of them can do it. It's pretty simple installation, especially for them. Many of our clients did installation through Best Buy Geek Squad and left us a good feedback about them. They charge reasonably like 140, 150, something like that for the installation. Another question we get, if we ship internationally. Yes, we do. We ship around the world. Before proceed to the installation, I want to talk about uh, two different types of rear view cameras interfaces for the Mercedes-Benz. Let's separate them into category. Uh, Mercedes-Benz between year 2008 and 2015, older generation, and 2015 through current. Some people ask us, okay, if we send you a win number, can you tell us if it's a right fit? We're not a dealership, we can run the win numbers. So you either need to call them or another way to find out if you remove the head unit itself and on the sticker you will find the, the model of the head unit in your car. It's gonna be kind of long video, so get some popcorn, no more blah blah blah, let's go to the car, hit it! Alright, let's proceed to the backup camera installation. First thing you want to do is to remove plastic piece in the corner of the dashboard using provided orange trim tool. Then you will find 20 Torx screw, undo that. I'm using a magnet plate to keep all screws organized. In Mercedes GLK you'll have to use the special tool to remove O-ring around the ignition lock and you can find it on eBay for $10. Uh, then go ahead and remove plastic trim with air vents using the orange provided tool in the corner by the steering wheel. Work gently, just pull a little bit from both sides, go to the passenger side, work a little bit in the middle and it will pop open really easily. Then disconnect power wire to the hazard lights and we'll remove plastic trim around climate control. Then you will find two screws T20, unscrew those and remove climate control panel. Just put it aside, you don't need to remove wires. If you look inside the air vents, you'll find two T20 screws for the head unit. Remove those and put the finger underneath the head unit and pull it towards you. Now we need to run extension video cable for the rear view camera from interior to the exterior of the car. I'm using a regular steel wire and I'm gonna go ahead and attach extension video cable with electrical tape. Make sure it's secured so when you run it through the glove box uh, it won't disconnect and you won't leave your video cable inside and do it again. Now it's time to connect power harness. Go ahead and disconnect quad connector from the head unit and to do so you need to pull down on the lever and kind of open it towards you and then push it out. Some head units have a fiber cable connected into the quad connector uh, so check it out if you have you need to disconnect it from original connector and reconnect it into provided quad connector it's located right here i'm showing it right now so you need to disconnect it and plug it in into the quad connector but in our case we don't have it so it's complete plug and play we're just connecting it 
um, male into female. Insert and lock it properly and repeat the step with another end connecting into the OEM head unit. Make sure you insert properly until you hear click sound. Now go ahead and remove OEM LVDS cable. It's gonna be a grey connector in the center between yellow and green connectors. It's kind of hard to pull it out, just wiggle it a little by little and it will come out. Now I'm gonna install provided LVDS cable in the same spot where you just remove OEM LVDS. Later you will connect these two ends into the interface units, but for now let's connect rear view camera extension cable into the rear RCA. Now look for the purple wire and you will connect it with the red wire from the video extension cable for the rear view camera power. If you are installing front view camera as well, you will connect front view camera power to the same purple wire. Go ahead and apply some electrical tape to secure RCAs. And also isolate power cable to the rear view camera. Now let's remove two plastic pieces around LCD and remove two 20T screws. We'll be hiding our interface unit behind LCD, so we need to remove it. Now we need to run all wires from the bottom to LCD compartment. There is a hole on the left side where you can run wires from the bottom to the top. And again, I'm using help of steel wire and I'm gonna attach LVDS cables with electrical tape to fish them through. There is a plenty of room behind LCD, so you can place both interface and mirror link in the same spot if you decide to install mirror link. Connect all the wires to the interface and place the LCD back, but don't screw anything back yet until you test everything. Now let's remove plastic trim on the tailgate. And to do so you need to first open these plastic covers on the handles and you'll find four T20 screws. Undo them. Helping with the tool and pushing on the handle, remove first piece of the trim. Then go ahead and remove connector for the tailgate light. This piece is a little bit harder to remove, you need to pull it on the edges where the clips are and pull it really hard. And some clips might will stay inside the metal portion of the lid, but you can remove them later and install them back in the plastic trim when you'll be putting back together. So just work around the edges, pull, kind of feel where the clips are and pull it hard. As you can see I have about 5 clips left behind in the tailgate, but you can remove them with a plastic orange tool. Now let's go ahead and remove OEM trunk handle. To do so you need to remove two 10 mil nuts and push the two clips inside and the handle will come out very easily. Go ahead and disconnect power connector and then all we need to do is to unscrew these two screws and take it out push button and install it on the provided camera trunk handle. Go ahead and install it on a backup camera for the Mercedes GLK. And install the trunk handle into its place. Go ahead and remove the last trim piece from the tailgate. Go
Go ahead and secure video cable from the trunk handle with the zip ties or electrical tape. Before doing so, make sure you tested the system and make sure that everything working properly. Cut the axis of the zip ties, make sure it won't rattle between plastic trim and the tailgate. Now let's remove two ends of the rubber cover for the tailgate wiring, because you will need to run the extension video cable through this hose. Also remove rubber seal around the tailgate so you have access to the ceiling panel uh, it will be easier for you to run cable so now we need to run the video cable from front to back and it's actually very easy process it was one of the easiest process because you don't need to remove anything just help with orange tool and fingers pry wire just right into the seal super easy process This part was a little bit tricky, uh, there is a hole underneath that big hole, so you need to find with your fingers and help with another hand, other fingers to catch the uh, cable end and pull it up. Now I'm using again my steel wire, <laughs> um, so yeah, this installation won't be done without this wire. Um, so yeah, um, I fish it through this rubber hole hose and again attaching the other end of uh, video cable with electrical tape. And since the lot of wires going through that hole, um, I want to kind of a little bit of lubricate it so it will you know, come out very easy. I spray it with WD-40 and it did a trick. Now again use your finger, run through another hole, at this point you can install seal back, make it nice so it, you know, it went all the way down so the tailgate will close properly. Also on the extension video cable you'll find uh, black and red wires, those are for different applications for other cars, you don't need to use it here, so just what I like to do is put them in one bunch and use the zip tie and you know zip tie them either to existed wire or like in here to the metal panel of the tailgate make sure you install all clips back into the trim and proceed with the installation it's actually very easy much easier than was removing it Don't forget to connect power connector to the light. And install four screws back. Go ahead and install head unit back and then climate control don't forget to put those two screws for the climate control don't forget to connect power cable for the hazard lights and airbag put the trim with air vents back uh, screw o-ring on the ignition lock and you are done installation uh, you, as you can see it's a not rocket science it just you gotta be patient you need to work around the trim carefully not to break anything kind of know where to you know where the clips located and take your time explore kind of it's your car nothing just get your weekend 
be prepared to spend you know extra hours to work on the car but it's doable and doable for a regular person you don't need to have like lots of skills and I'm gonna leave a link to the rear view camera for Mercedes underneath this video in the description down below and as always guys if you like the video hit subscribe button hit the like button hit the bell so you'll be notified when our video will be released next time online and thank you for your support and I'll see you in the next video bye